Hey, 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 all. How are Hi, you everyone? doing? Welcome to the live stream. I'm Ja. I'm Mike. And you all know what today's live stream is going to be about. 4K nope. gaming monitor, right? Not much question about it with the exactly. title. So. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, before that, uh, we'll also give you some information about the trend regarding 4K and uh, you know what led up to 4K. And obviously, because we're generous, we always have a giveaway, right? So Definitely. for those of you who really like Battlefield 5 or you know someone that likes Battlefield 5 or likes Battlefield 5 Or you think you might like Battlefield 5 Exactly, try it out, go to amazon.com slash to slash insider and perform as yeah, many actions more, Multiple actions, the more you perform the bigger chance you'll have to win So make sure to do as many as possible uh, We will draw several winners throughout the stream So yeah. even if you missed out on the first one, Don't make sure those. to subscribe and uh, enter the giveaway Just have faith <laughs> in us no, I'm just kidding. We don't have any influence on the on the draw. So, no. uh, it's totally random. That. Exactly. So right. don't blame us if you didn't <coughs> win. And just try yeah. again next week. <laughs> and at the end, we'll have some Battlefield 5 yeah. gameplay. And you'll also see how 4K will perform real in real life. So real time, Battlefield 5 4K performance at the end. All if right. you have any questions in between, please drop them in mm. chat. I already see you have some fans in chat, Jack. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I was awkwardly reading what Bonnie was typing before the stream started, you know. Uh, she or he was saying like, okay, I'm just awkwardly watching you change seats. <laughs> I'm like, all right, somebody's... So people do actually watch the waiting screen. Bram is asking if you're Dutch. If I'm Dutch? I think he's asking if you're Dutch. I am. <laughs> yeah, I am on paper. You have a Dutch passport, so you're Dutch, right? <laughs> Technically, yes. <laughs> But well, I was uh, not okay, made. If I ask for the yeah. Gleam link, I will also post it in chat. Exactly. So, guys, for those of you who are who's not reading the chat, if uh, if mz.com slash two slash insider doesn't work for you, don't worry. In the chat, there's a direct link to the giveaway. So go visit that link, and good luck. Should be in the chat now. <clears throat> so make sure to participate. Exactly. Wow. <sighs> so 4K, man. It sounds so rich it sounds so it is rich. mighty right right it so is mighty. 4K. <laughs> because you know to me personally i'm used to the term 4k from television eras you know when they first started with 4k and you know i got to experience 4k on televisions i, I was blown away by the quality the details i think on television it's already a little bit more mainstream yeah. than it is on, on monitors so now we are uh, coming into the gaming monitor wave on 4k and well obviously obviously uh 4k on monitor is not something new but 4k on gaming monitor it's something i think say since the last uh, generations of graphics cards uh, the 4k on gaming monitor really became something realizable yeah, so it's now more of a viable mm, option. Before exactly. it was a bit too harsh on your graphics card to to put 4K. Yep. So back it. in the days, it was it was more like staring at the moon and be like, you know, hey, when will we land on the moon? And now it's like it's actually not that far away. <laughs> no. So 4K, you know, guys, uh, I'm not sure how many of you have experience with 4K uh, on gaming monitor that is and gaming uh, wise. But uh, it's really something that's uh, that's been hitting the market uh, since uh, like the last year or something, on ga uh, in the gaming industry. And I must say that I have experienced this myself, and generally I think it was quite an experience. Because you're used to 1080p, right? Uh, yeah. So, so I'm, that's I'm a big like, step up. <laughs> yeah. So, um, okay, but. So what has really led up to this uh, this 4K happening, you know? So before this, obviously there was the 1440p, right? Mm -hmm. So before this 4K got uh, the attraction that it got, there was the 1440p wave uh, shifting from 1080p to 1440p. We actually did a dedicated live stream about that as yeah, well. Yeah. So so make sure to check it out. If you uh, if you're wondering about 1440p and you know you want to know uh, know more about that, just visit uh, our playlist. You'll see that uh, we did a live stream about that. And actually, it was this hero model right in front of you that was in that live stream. And so it was mainly about the shift because 1080p has been like the standard mm -hmm. for quite yeah. a couple of years. Exactly. Now. I think right, even right now, you know, 1080p is still the king. Yeah, it's still as, as to the standards. Majority is still playing on 1080p, but we can clearly see that. 
the market was trying to shift from 1080p to 1440p also because monitors are getting bigger and bigger, right? So and also gamers, they want to see more details, exactly. better looking games. So uh, in that live stream, we did everything uh, about this for uh, this kind of topic uh, from 1080p to 1440p and why uh, it's like that and what kind of new model we introduced back then. It was this one. It's a, actually a really great all-rounder and I must say that uh, that we can proudly present that this monitor has actually uh, won uh, CES uh, Innovation Awards and also I think two weeks ago uh, Eurogamer named this uh, model best gaming monitor so uh, we're quite proud of that just wanted to and share. it's a nice monitor exactly it's really nice I mean um, if you haven't checked it out check it out I mean it's something 27 inch 1440p 144 Hertz one millisecond, it's really free same, you know, everything, and of course, RGB lights. Of uh, course. Yeah, so, hey, that's Wh that. What's a monitor without RGB? Exactly. RGB makes you Nowadays, uh, RGB, I mean, RGB is even in chairs. It's getting kind of crazy, right? It's pretty cool, though. <laughs> it, it is pretty cool. I mean, I mean okay, that's a that's topic for another time. But, so, that's 1440p, you know, uh, but and 1080p is still the king. And now we are shifting towards this 4K area uh, era. But so like, like I said, 40, 40p is slowly becoming more yeah. and more mainstream. But you always have like mm. a group of people that want to get a little bit more than mainstream. Exactly. So if 40, 40p is mainstream, you need more pixels to get something extra. Exactly. So for those of you who are really interested in 4K, hey. Well, there obviously there is uh, a significant difference between 4K and 1440p and 1080p. So if you you know, Mike already mentions pixels. So if you're really looking at pixels, um, it's really four times the pixel density of uh, 1080p. So at 10, the same size. At yeah. the same size, obviously. So 1080p, you know, if you just round up the numbers, it will get you to towards two million uh, pixels approximately. And if you go up to 4K. It's just above 8 million pixels. Because it's essentially, it's four times <coughs> exactly. full HD is yeah. ultra HD. So you have like two on top of each other and two more mm. on the side. So, you know, also hence Everything together. 4K, okay, you know, it refers to <laughs> four times the resolution of full HD. And then you might wonder, okay, then how about 1440p, right? Because 1440p also has a significant uh, pixels. If you uh, combine the numbers, you would get you roughly up to 3.6 million and if so that's already a big step up from exactly full HD. and if you compare that to 4k it's still a gigantic step forward because that's roughly more than twice the pixels of a 1440p and i was already amazed when i first saw 1440p right because i'm a diehard 1080p gamer and when i first experienced uh, 1440p i was like hmm that's sharp. I that looks good. <laughs> I, I really missed out because uh, when I, you know, I was touching the screen, I almost caught my finger. I was like, "Damn, this shit is sharp." <laughs> but and then uh, there was 4K. And I'm like, "Hmm, maybe, just maybe, you know, it's time for me to move up the scale a little bit because I'm really starting to uh, fall behind." behind. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And you are also playing 1440p, right? Yeah, I do actually. Mm. I've been using then, what about 4K? I've also been using 4K, uh, especially not really for gaming though, because my graphics card back in the day could not handle that yet. Yeah, 4K. of course, back in the days. So, um, I've, it was very useful also for video editing. Like if you're editing something in full HD and you can show mm -hmm. it natively with all the buttons and stuff for video editing still around, it's also very useful because at, for content creation, stuff like that, uh, 4K is already viable for quite a couple of years now. Um, but now we're going to 4K gaming as well. Exactly, 4K gaming. And that's really where I kind of stepped into the ring just to take a look, just to take a peek. Because obviously I'm playing 1080p, so I don't owe a 4K monitor. So, but when I first really tried it, um, you can really see, you know, it's not just the numbers, you know, hey, uh, 4K is like more, more than twice the pixels of a 1440p and four times the, uh, the pixels of a full, a full HD. You can really see it. So if you really haven't tried it out, you know, I really encourage you guys to go to some retailers uh, or somewhere and really check out the pixels and compare 4K with uh, 1440p or 1080p. You can really see the difference. 
Well, also, obviously, depending on the size, also because you shouldn't just compare 4K with full HD or uh, 1440p at say 25 inches. That's that's not really gonna cut it. You gotta move up a little bit in size if you really want 4K to show its uh, strength. So uh, go to uh, 32 inches, and there you can really see hey the clear clear difference between 4K and 1440p. Because I'm not even gonna mention full HD on like 4040p 32. on 32 inches. I think the maximum you should go. <laughs> if, you, yeah. if you go to a larger screen and you're still on 1440p, then the pixel density gets a bit too low. So you, you will lose sharpness, essentially. Exactly. So because sharpness on the, on the panel and the monitor really depends on how dense is the pixel no, uh, how small ratio. small the pixel, pixels exactly. are and how close to each other, essentially. So, uh, so playing into what we just told you, if you have a pixel of a full HD uh, screen, so imagine this pixel is like this big. Right? How you looked. It's this big. You can fit four pixels if you're talking about 4K resolution. In the same size of pixel on the Full HD, you can fit four pixels of a 4K. So it's really four times the pixels. That's how you should really visualize it if you haven't seen 4K uh, in real life yet. Um, so what this all really boils, boils down to is that 4K is getting more attraction, it's getting more attention in the market. And if you just Google, hey, 4K gaming, there's going to be tons and tons of reviews and uh, some news articles. And also outside of gaming, 4K is going everywhere. Like mm, on YouTube, exactly. you can already yeah. watch a lot of videos in 4K. Uh, if you do streaming, like Netflix services, for example, they also offer Ooh. 4K series. If you watch 4K on Netflix with 4K television, um, that's so nice. Yeah. Yeah. So the market is also shifting towards higher resolutions and the yeah. gaming so market will shift along with it. <clears throat> so that's really interesting because it's not just gaming, right? Because gaming is kind of catching up with uh, the market trend. So it, it kind of makes sense that 4K is getting its attraction. Right now, monitors are getting bigger, like I said, and uh, people sometimes prefer to have more details on bigger sizes. So then you need to go up in resolution. And there's already so much advancement in 4K, you know, outside of gaming, that it actually makes sense that gaming is also catching up. So if you're interested, you know, you can also do some Googling, see hey, uh, what people recommend. And uh, if you haven't seen enough recommendations after this live stream, do some more homework, right? Um, so, obviously, you, you are now going to be wondering, okay, hey, then what about the performance of 4K and gaming? What should uh, what should you think? What should you think about? You know, when, when it comes to gaming and 4K. Well, we have some nice statistics for you. We didn't make it. So, as you can see, it's uh, maybe hardware.info. Uh, People are already asking, demo monitor going to be on stream? Yes, we will definitely show you a 4K monitor later. And we will also use it in <coughs> Battlefield. Yeah. So uh, right now, you know, we were just trying to tell you, okay, hey, how is the market right now? How is, where is it shifting to? And then we'll hit you with the monitor. Because you guys are actually getting, uh, you know, the first look of the monitor. It's not up yet. But... I see already, Jet777 is asking, baseline GPU recommendations for a 4K monitor. That was exactly where you were heading. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I guess great timing for your uh, question. That's a good question. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, guys. So if you have questions, of course, post them in the chat. Uh, we do our best to keep the chat uh, up and running and trying to reply to the chat and answer your questions. So we might not be able to answer all the questions, but we'll try to do as many as possible. Exactly. We'll do our best. But uh, where were we? Yeah. The, <laughs> the statistics on 4K gaming performance. So in the graph here, uh, if, you're hard, if you're having a hard time reading what's actually in the graph, uh, if you're watching a mobile phone or something, I'll try to read some uh, out loud. But this graph essentially tells you the price to and performance ratio. So uh, just, okay, let's start with, okay, what kind of FPS do, would you prefer, uh, preferably hit if you want some smooth gaming? That will be I think you're already one slide ahead. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, we already medium. went up ahead. Let's start with medium. Yeah. So so what, what kind of FPS would you ideally want to hit? So 60, right? The, we said 60 FPS as the smooth gaming uh, standard. So having 60 minimum will still ensure that you have a pleasant and nice gaming experience. And below 60, you will really start to see you know, the jiggering, jittering and stuff. 
and it's not really Actually, that Actually, a very interesting comment from Mr. Masterdogs, just breaking mm. in. Saying, uh, no gaming on bigger screens becomes uncomfortable and a disadvantage at a certain point, unless you take more distance from the screens. It's a, a little bit dependent on what you want. Like if you're going eSports, yes, usually yeah. they prefer smaller screens, so they have a clear overview of, uh, of the full game. Um, so usually I think 24, 25 is a yeah. little bit the sweet spot there. So that's also why our 240 hertz monitor is 24.5 inch, for example. Also one of the reasons why I'm still sticking to 1080p, because I'm a competitive gamer. Yeah, so if you're really into esports titles and really competitive gaming, yeah. usually that's the smaller size is the way to go. If you're more into immersion, then a bigger screen um, close to you gives you a lot more immersion. And because it's a 4K resolution, you can have it close to you without losing the sharpness. If you will have yes. 32 inches on 1080p or 4040p, you will start to see pixels. But if you have 4K screen closer to you, you will still have that sharp experience. <clears throat> so it's more You're of an immersive it. experience than a competitive advantage in games. Yeah, and if it does, uh, you know, if you, I guess it also kind of depends on personal preference. And I think personally, I'll really enjoy 4k on 32 inch when i'm playing games you know where i can really enjoy the environment for like, me it also really depends the on the kind of game yeah. yeah like if i play rocket league i prefer a smaller screen so i can see everything easily but nowadays i'm also into no 1800 for example oh you and are there, there it's really nice to have like a big screen with all the details and stuff so yeah it really depends on what kind of games you play most and what you're looking for into a monitor definitely uh, so, any other interesting questions, maybe, before we uh, move on? Well, uh, <clears throat> if you... Well, you Paul Vegas asking, you guys offer a 244 hertz screen. Not 244, but 240. 40, 40 yeah. yes. So, that's our uh, competitive game uh, gaming monitor, uh, our NXT series. Yeah. It also offers G-Sync, for example, and it's 1080p up to 240 hertz. Exactly. So, if you're interested in that, go check it out. Uh, coming back to the graph. All right, so here at 4K medium setting, first of all, don't be scared at the word medium. Medium sounds mediocre, but when it comes to medium gaming, in 4K, it because really the isn't. resolution is so high, exactly. medium is already in, insanely so good looking. You already have all the resolution right there, the pixels density right there. And if you uh, set it down to medium, it's still not gonna impact your game ex gaming experience like sometimes I don't even really notice it except for you know some obvious lighting or shadow changes you're still gonna keep that premium quality that you have in ultra because it really depends on you know okay what kind of settings have you tuned down and even at medium you're still gonna have the great details it's also a little bit trial and error like some settings if you mm -hmm. put them down it will have a big impact on what the game looks like but for other settings, they have a big impact on performance, but you will barely see the difference in game. So it's a little bit of figuring out trial and error and see what, what fits best. Exactly. So don't be scared when I say, well, when we say medium. So right now at 4K medium, uh, if you're playing at this setting, there are actually quite a lot of video cards uh, out there that can handle this kind of performance. So if you'll try to look at, well, uh, I think you guys can really see it, but uh, between uh, 200 and 400, euros uh, let's say this is the mid section the medium um mid-range yeah cards. the mid-range cards there are a lot of titles in here that are actually performing quite above uh 60 fps so 60 frames per second still so, uh, what kind of titles are we talking about we're talking about 10 uh, gtx 1070 we're talking about vegas so 56 and 64 we're talking about rtx 2060 we're talking about um 1070 ti and for those of you wondering, okay, then what about the newest uh, GTX cars that came out, 1660, 1660 Ti? Well, <clears throat> you can kind of compare 1660 Ti performance. Well, when we're talking about 4K, uh, it, it will you'll perform close to, or maybe sometimes, sometimes even equal to 1070. But it performs close to 1070, so it's still is gonna it's still gonna be on the chart right there, somewhere around 60 FPS. And 60 FPS is like a bit of the bottom line what you should have for smooth gameplay yeah again so um and if you're talking about 1660 which is also not on the chart um well just imagine that if 1660 ti is performing close to 16, uh, 1070 
so 16, close to 10, around, 60 and 10. On it's average, around 60. It's such, yeah. such a riddle when you, when you talk about 10 series and then there's like a 16. You have to switch between 16 and then to 10 and then to 16 and to 10. <laughs> but, um, sorry. So, if you, if, you, if you know that 1660 Ti performs close to 1070, you can imagine that with 1660, it's like about 8% less performance than the Ti version. So, you can imagine it will sit approximately around maybe 55 frames per second, something like that. And it also depends really much <coughs> on the title you're of playing. Course, a triple A game will be a lot heavier than an yeah. esports title like Counter Strike, for example. Because the frames per second here, it's like a, uh, an average of a lot of games compiled, and then the average uh, frames per second with this kind of graphics card is being displayed here. So, like Mike already said, you can imagine that with some AAA titles, you can expect some uh, a little bit of lower performance, or with some even higher. But in general, with these kind of cards, titles are usually not very demanding. No, triple uh, A titles usually are. So mm. it really depends on what you you play, what kind of graphics card you need. Like if you do only esports titles, you'll be fine with uh, a mid-range card and a 4K mm. monitor. Yeah. If you're mainly playing triple A titles, you'll need a higher tier card for that. Exactly. So the key takeaway here is that, well, I'm not even going to start about 2080 or 2080 Ti on here because, um, yeah, they are going way up in the chart compared to the rest. And I think majority of you guys are sitting in the mid range. So that's going to be more interesting. Um, so yeah, if you have like something like 1660 Ti and above, you're going to be very comfortable with uh, 4K gaming at medium. And again, medium is not bad at all. So, it still um, looks really good. Yeah. Exactly. And well, for those of you who want a little bit more than medium, who just if you do really want wants everything to go all ultra, the way, everything maxed out. Yeah. If you're just not satisfied with medium, well, there's always ultra, right? Ultra. At you will need a much stronger graphics card for this. Exactly. <laughs> this is like this is like Avengers in-game kind of performance. It's it's uh, it's a different kind of story. So the scenario here, as you can see, is also pictured, displayed a little bit different than the previous one. So the previous one, if you remember, 1070 is just above 60 FPS on medium. And then if you look at here, well, 1070 is kind of going Around down 40 FPS. 40 FPS. Yeah. So as you can see, you know, Ultra, even though you don't personally, I don't think you gain that much of visual prowess or improvements. It also depends a bit per game how much yeah. it differs, but, but 40 FPS on average, it's not a comfortable gaming experience <clears throat> anymore. No. So yeah, if you have those kind of graphics cards, you know, just really recommend you to you know tune down some settings. Say if you prefer textures, you know, put texture on ultra if you like, and try to <coughs> see hey, what kind of settings can I put to low? Maybe some uh, global shadow or volumetric lighting, which I personally always turn to low because I don't really bother with volumetric lighting if it's like really there or not. I don't really care so you have to try it for yourself to see hey what kind of setting do i have to tune down in order to have great gaming performance 60 fps plus and still have great quality but if you put everything at ultra this is what you get it's uh and 10 a uh, 20 uh the 2080 ti is really just sitting all the way up there like just chilling on this beautiful champion you know not yeah, challenged by anyone 2080 ti is still <laughs> comfortable on 4K yeah. Ultra on average. 2080 mm -hmm. in most titles also very well above 60 FPS. If you're going lower than 2080, 2070 in some titles, it's it's perfectly fine and you will reach over 60 FPS on average. In more demanding titles, that will be slightly different. So if you're running RTX 2070 or a lower tier graphics card, it gets a little bit more tricky with your FPS if yep. you want to play on 4K Ultra. So for those of you who own a 27, a 2080 or 2080 Ti, I envy you. Edward is and saying, I don't believe this 4K Ultra chart. I have RTX 2080 and I know how capable this card is on 4040p. 4K 60 plus is 2080 Ti only. That really differs on, this is an average among yeah. several games. Um, so it's also, it has some very demanding games. It has some less demanding games. Um, if you're playing very high demanding games, yes, you will need to have 2080 Ti. Uh, but on average, 2080 can also, in many games, uh, achieve 60 FPS or higher. So it's it's really dependent on what you play. Yeah. But 
maybe something else that I forgot to mention is that you guys really have to uh, remember that game gaming developers and uh, GPU developers, so you know Nvidia or AMD with drivers, they will keep improving and optimizing for 4K 4K gaming. So you know with driver optimization, they can already achieve quite some performance gain. And I think they're starting to doing that uh, a bit more because 4K is starting to gain its traction. And gaming developers, they are obviously they will also be uh, optimizing for 4K. So you can only expect better performance with equal gears in the future. And don't really be afraid that it's gonna be expensive forever to play a 4K. Uh, I think that's something that uh, that we can really look forward to. It will always change over time. Yeah. So I still remember playing at. What was it? Uh, 10, 24 times 768. Oh, 768. Ooh, I've had <laughs> that, that was time my, too. my first monitor had that <clears throat> resolution. So you know, that was the monitor with a fat ass. Yeah, yeah. It mm. was definitely oh, a CRT yes. monitor. Still 15 too. inches. <laughs> so it was not too big. Man, I was playing GTA 2. In those where days. you were still seeing it from top. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was the top down. Oh, it was like helicopter. It was like 2D. It was yeah, like. Yeah, it was good. It was legit fun. So there you already oh. see like the transition to higher resolutions yep. and it will continue. <clears throat> so. They just kept getting thinner and thinner and thinner. Everything kept getting clearer and clearer and uh, it's just amazing. And now we're in the 4K era. But um, Carl okay. Flux is asking about the giveaway. Let's just repeat that quickly. Yeah, if actually, you go to msi.com slash two slash insider, uh, you can enter our giveaway there. I will also drop the direct link in the chat. Yeah. So if the link doesn't work for you guys, don't worry. Uh, you will have the link directly in the chat. Oh man, Edward even had 800 times 600 on his first monitor. <laughs> That's a long time ago, Edward. I'm just going to ask you once, but how old are you? <laughs> or how young, should I say? Some, some people get offended by Still, It's not even that long ago. If you think about it, it went pretty quickly. You know, I always have this issue that whenever I think about 2010, it still feels like it was just a few years ago. I don't know, I have something with 2010, it just always feels like a few <laughs> years ago. And then when I really do the calculation, I'm like, damn, <laughs> it's already been nine years. But uh, so, you know, speaking of giveaway, hey, I think you loyal viewers have deserved the first giveaway draw. Let's so let's see if you guys paid attention and performed the actions because the first winner is going to be announced. And also, if you haven't soon. signed up yet, please do so. We'll give away more mm. uh, codes during yeah. the stream. So let me draw our first winner. This is always the exciting part to see who is it, even though we and don't. And to see if it's a pronounceable name. <laughs> This one should be doable. Ah, uh, it's very doable. I'll take one for the team. <laughs> I'll take one. Because you, you see, can, it's doable. You can have the next. Yeah. <laughs> I can so, have the difficult next. Right. <laughs> so we have the first winner uh, of the Battlefield 5 game code, uh, Samos Zero. Congratulations to you. And if you're still in the chat, congratulations. Give a thumbs up. <laughs> have fun. I hope you enjoy. And for those of you who haven't won the code, don't worry. There are still more keys to come. So if you haven't won, you might still win. And if you haven't performed the actions yet, go do it now at msi.com slash two slash insider. And good luck, guys. You were saying Edward was old, but he's actually the same age you are. Well, so you just called yourself old. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of always thought I was old, except for when I get to the supermarket or gas stations and the damn cashiers keep asking for my ID. If you're filling up your car. Wait, <laughs> wait, didn't you? Didn't they ask for your ID at the supermarket this yeah, that, week? That was actually a good when story. You did, when you didn't even... Yeah, so I was buying non-alcoholic beer because sometimes you mm -hmm. have to drive and you get tired of soda and you want to drink non-alcoholic beer. Oh, so that's the only reason. So I bought a six pack of non-alcoholic beer and I got asked for my ID. That was pretty hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you do have a baby face. So she was looking at the, at the six pack again. Oops. <laughs> Obviously her first day, huh? But, uh, <clears throat> all right, I think um, it's time to show you guys what you're here for. Mr. Max Master Dogs had a Commodore 64 on TV. What? Uh, uh, Commodore oh. 64 was also pretty old school stuff. Ooh. Cool, though. Now I really start to wonder, you know, what kind of, what are the ages of the viewers? I think there's really like a big gap between, uh, yeah. 
some people. Ranges all the way. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Just so repeating, if you haven't signed up yet for the giveaway, go to amazoncom slash 2 slash insider um, You can also scroll back a little bit, and you will also see the giveaway link in chat, so you can still participate there. Yeah, and now it's time to refill. Well, not refill the product yet, but the box. That's a big box. That's a big box, so I probably have to stand up to show you the box. I mean, it's not that interesting, so I'm just gonna show you the box, like, it's what we're supposed to do, right? It's part of the process. I show you the box, you see the box, we get over it, so I put it on the ground now. AKA so Sir Charles box. is saying, grow a couple beautiful beards. I'm not sure if my girlfriend will agree with that, but. And I would like to, but I'm not sure if you notice my uh, look. It's not really within my DNA to, uh, Produce. We have a lot of people beard. in chat that are in their 20s. I see 25, 20, 23. All right. So, getting the monitor out of the box with this kind of size is not the easiest job in the world. So, I already pre, well, I already took the monitor out of the box. So, there's that. All right. Uh, it's for you. It's not the smallest monitor. It's no ready for the immersion. So here we have the monitor. I still have to put this together, guys. It's, so not, it's not very long ago that my television at home had this size. Yeah, so <laughs> other parts. I'm just gonna put this, now, uh, put this together and then I will give you a better look of this 4K beauty. All right. So, like you're used to our gaming monitors, it's really easy to set it up. I mean, for this part, just f setting this foot, uh, the footing, the stand together, you just have to click it in, use the thumb screw, which you can never lose because this actually doesn't even come off, and that's it. Mr. Masterdux is saying, Joe, when you, uh, when you get old, you can grow a nice old beard and look like an old Kung Fu master. Actually, when we had... Uh, I think it was the 1650 live stream with um, ah with uh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, with yeah, Mortal yeah. Kombat. Look at the the visual for that. <laughs> we actually made Jai into a kung fu master. Yeah, actually, if I can grow that, perfect. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even mad at that stereotype because if that's possible, that will actually be pretty cool. <laughs> All right, getting back to the monitor. So it's very easy. Here we have two clippings. Road Knight is Just asking, what chat are you reading? We're reading YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, uh, Periscope, uh, Facebook, all different channels. Multitasking at its best. And now, just four screws to go. And Mike is going to make asking, a joke By the way, is this one bulletproof as well? We would never recommend to use a monitor as bullet protection, but... Is it tested if it's bulletproof, this one? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I would like to, but I, uh, I, I, I remember know. also with the other monitor, there was also a wall in front yeah. of the monitor. I, I'm not sure if our superiors are going to be happy about it when the product is, is not really even on the shelf yet. It's getting shot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So and we're saying this year, after 10 years, we just switched from 32-inch television to something bigger. Unfortunately, unfortunately not much bigger, 43-inch due to uh, furniture constraints. Yeah, at home, I'm at 55-inch. But mine is just in front of a wall, so I don't have to worry about any furniture other than the stand. 55-inch, that's really a great size. Yeah. It's, I, it's, it's I'm at 49, looking to um, upgrade, but not anytime soon yet. So, all right. This is together now. If we can uh, have a great look at what we go. this is. So here we have our 4K gaming monitor. Well, actually, it's so big, I might have to sit on the table. So excuse me. <clears throat> so here is the MAG 321 CURV. Now, the other one is also from the MAG series, the 271 CQR. So the letters behind the numbers is kind of different because uh, it is kind of a different kind of monitor. So the C here stands for curve. Uh, even though when you pronounce CURV, you might have the idea of, hey, it sounds like curve. I think that's also the joke there when uh, my colleagues uh, thought of the name. Because it, it, CURV is not, it doesn't stand for curve. Well, not entirely. 
because the C, the C stands, stands for, for curve. curve. The U stands for Ultra HD. Uh, the R stands for RGB. And the V, I think, is just indicating the specific model. So and they're just like, hey, sounds cool. with a V, <laughs> it sounds like curve, right? But yeah, so CURV. MAG 321, the 3.2 refers to the size, 32 inches. And the one indicates it's the first generation, first model in this specific lineup, the 4K. So when you see a 322 in the future, you know, ah, that's like the follow-up model. All right, so this is the model. <clears throat> Your number one question right now might be, okay, what's the refresh rate, right? Mm -hmm. It's 60 hertz refresh rate. So just hitting that sweet spot and in order for you to get a 4K performance, but still not like getting a mortgage to uh, buy a really high refreshing rate, uh, refresh rate gaming monitor. So this one just sits at the 60 sweet spot for you to have a smooth gaming experience with 4K. And it's also really hard, especially with this resolution to achieve much higher frame rates than this. Yeah. But so definitely let us know what you think. If you would be interested also in a higher uh, refresh rate model, we will definitely look into that. Exactly. Uh, Jet777 is asking, will there be any non-curved ones, by the way, or is this it for now? Depends on what you mean exactly with your question. I mean, if you mean... For 4K, uh, I think. For 4K, then I can't really answer the question yet, but I expect that they will always be curved. But don't take my word for it, it's just my speculation. Because at 4K especially, we want to give you that full immersion. And the curved panel like here, I can show you, <clears throat> is really trying to help you be more immersed. Because it's also a very large panel. So. Yeah, getting more immersed with what you're actually looking at. So getting more immersed into the game or when you're watching a movie, stuff like that. So that's why I speculate that the 4K monitors will stay curved. Yeah, in our eSports series, they have flat panels. Yeah. Uh, we have another question from Paul Vega. Does it support HDR? Yes. I'm, uh, I'm not there yet, but it supports HDR. Good. It's a nice uh, guess, I guess. But, okay. First of all, let me just tell you okay, what you're seeing here. Uh, on the top of here, it's like a matte finish with a very subtle um, integration of a glossy logo. So our shield. And on the lower part, this right here, you can see there are like uh, cutouts. This is the RGB part. So here is where the mystic light will be shining. And if we go to the other point of view, we can see um, the detailed one. Uh, <clears throat> wait, just a sec. I can show you what kind of interfaces is on the back of here. First of all, uh, here. Of course, we have the Kensington lock for you to secure your gaming monitor whenever you're away, or even if you're at home and you don't trust your brother. That's up to you. And. We have here the little smiley face of two eyes and a, ma and a mouth. <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> it like smiley face. Yeah. It's like, ah! <laughs> but um, yeah, so here you will uh, put in the USB cable to uh, set up the hub and Mystic Light stuff. And we have here two more USBs. And here we actually have a USB Type-C too. And it's capable of charging. So there's that that you can use to charge uh whatever devices that you're trying to use they a can, lot of uh, people are asking about the price <clears throat> the price well i actually can't really give you a uh, exact price yet because it also depends from region to that's, region that's, that's really hard to uh that's really hard to suggest but i would just suggest that whenever when this is actually officially on the shelf just check out with the e-tailer because whenever i say a price it can be really different for some other people because it's never going to be accurate for everybody and it can differ quite some quite a bit yeah differs from region to region yeah um but don't expect to pay too much for this so you don't have to save that much uh okay continuing well where was i yeah, you can charge, but obviously you can also use this as a display port. 
for those of you, for those of you who, uh, how would you say, Mike, uh, the fruit lovers? Yeah. Yeah. If you have uh, a notebook from a certain fruit brand, mm, very there lovely. you will only have one connector, uh, USB Type C. Um, and if it carries a DisplayPort signal, you can actually connect your notebook to your monitor as well um, using USB Type C. Yeah. So it technically it offers the same as uh, as the DisplayPort, but in a different type of plug. <clears throat> All right. So for the fruit lovers view out there right here and the other ones use this whole display port and then moving on we have HDMI 2.0s so there are actually three interfaces right here that you can use and later I'll show you how to really fully optimize or well optimally use the interfaces at the same time and then of course the power and socket because it's HDMI 2.0 you will also be able to get the full uh, 4k resolution at 60 Hz uh, without any issues yeah <clears throat> if, of course, your graphics card also supports HDMI 2.0. This little red guy is our iconic five-way joystick to activate on-screen display. Click, click. All right, so that's for the back side. Let me turn this around. So see, a lot of people are very curious about the panel. Maybe you can tell a little bit more. <clears throat> of course, about that's where I'm going to continue. All right, so first of all, it's curved. I already mentioned that. And we were talking about the panel. It's the VA panel. So really getting that nice contrast and uh, color reproduction with a great viewing angle. Uh, it comes at four millisecond reaction time, uh, response time. Also... So Edward is asking about the panel manufacturer. The manufacturer? Mm -hmm. Well, if we are allowed to tell you, I shall we? Do, do we know for this one? Yeah, we actually do know for this one. I'm sure. <clears throat> it's Amtron. Okay. So, there you have it. It's really a, a curious question. I mean, who, who asked it? Edward asked. Edward. You must have... So it's uh, this, Edward must know quite a bit about technology, because this is usually not a question that people will be asking, because... It's quite a technical question. Yeah. <laughs> so. And it's a VA panel, right? Yeah, it's a VA panel, like I said. Uh, so deep blacks. And really nice color contrast. Yeah. And great field angle. And that's also paired up with our night vision. Uh, well, it's not really paired up, but one of the great features of this gaming monitor is also night vision. And night vision is really going to enhance enhance uh, this nice, accurate contrast and deeper blacks for you to see even more details when it comes to darker areas and environments. So that's really great when you're playing AAA titles games because generally I think in competitive, I don't really often see dark spots. So really in those realistic uh, AAA titles, that's where- yeah, Sometimes you have it. And also in, in Battle Royale, for example, if you're into PUBG or something, you, you'll have certain <coughs> shadows and it will be easier to spot your enemies in those shadows. Yeah. But in AAA, it's like more common to, uh, yeah, in, especially in horror games. I don't know how I, it is in Counter Strike. You're really into oh, Counter, Counter Strike. Strike Not many like, dark areas. No, Counter Strike light. Counter Strike's lighting is like so not realistic. Let's put it that way. It's it's just amazing. Even though in dark tunnels, there's gonna be like uh, this unrealistic kind of light lighting up the environment, yeah. even though there's no light. But that's Counter so no ray tracing in Counter Strike yet. Uh, I don't think for this for the next <laughs> decade. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, where were we? Uh, the panel. So I, uh, I mentioned this. The, it's the VA panel. Uh, so four uh, MS uh, response time. Um, any other questions regarding uh, what the panel is about? If yeah, not, so it's then I'll also try HDR to... ready. So you will yeah. really get if you're watching bright areas like the sky and stuff. You can see a lot of details <coughs> in there as well. Yeah. So somebody already asked, right? If it's uh, HDR, uh, if it has HDR. And really, guys, if you haven't uh, experienced HDR, try it out somewhere at an e-tailer or something or retailer. I mean, uh, you can see that with HDR content, it's going to be so much more realistic when it comes to contrast and uh, dark areas. And generally, just the dynamic uh, relation between bright and dark. So um, you can really enjoy that on this monitor, too. And... Um, 
I think especially nowadays with uh, the, uh, the newer kind of newer versions of consoles with HDR capabilities, yeah. that's another great And I think usage. YouTube also started supporting HDR yeah. in their videos, <coughs> so it's also getting more and more mainstream. So you can see there are like some kind of uh, some kind of features that just um, well kind of just gets keeps getting bigger and bigger, right? Like 4K on gaming monitor, it was not really there until uh, the GPU capabilities were there, and now HDR is really starting to take off also in televisions because it really does have its perks. So yeah, this one is also a uh, cable of uh, HDR. Um, if you're wondering about the brightness, it's 300 nits. 32 inch uh, if you miss on that part, and all the way curved. Well, uh, I think it's time for me to sit down. It's uh, also ready with FreeSync. So even though if you're trying to play 4K uh, and it's below 60 it FPS, it drops a little bit below. It drops a little bit. Uh, activate FreeSync, you know, hey, get it going. And nowadays, even with uh, G-Sync compatible, it's, uh, well, even if you have a GPU, if a NVIDIA GPU, you can still try. It's not really, um, I can't really tell you that it's officially tested yet for G-Sync compatible, but generally, even though it's not officially compatible, they still work. So you can try that out. Uh, yeah, so that's a great. So it's not something we can guarantee, but you can always fiddle around mm -hmm. with it and yeah. see if you can get it going. And for those of you who is, who is not familiar with FreeSync, it's uh, a syncing technology to sync your monitor's uh, refresh rate with the GPU's FPS. So you don't have to mismatch timings, so you will have stuttering and um, tearing. And generally, that's really something that you would like to avoid. So if it drops a little bit below 60, activate FreeSync. And there you go. Problem solved. Uh, Jet 77 is asking, is there a spec sheet available to uh, check the specs? I'm not sure, is the product page already it's online uh, for this? No, no. So I already informed you guys, like, this is kind of like uh, a sneak peek, right? So you're getting the first look yeah. of the monitor. But you have to wait a little bit to officially inspect um, the spec sheet of the monitor. So it's not a, it's, it's not, not available yet, yet and no. it's the product page till uh, so it's not online yet. So, if you're, so you're really the first ones to, to witness this monitor. So if you're curious and you're wondering about some specifications or something, really guys, uh, ask them now because we're here to answer your questions and uh, maybe even some opinions, um, recommendations, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, continuing. Uh, I also mentioned Mystic Light and Mystic Light is also something I'll be demonstrating after uh, showing you the model uh, together with the gaming OSD. So, of course, this gaming monitor also comes with our iconic gaming OSD. And in gaming OSD, I'm just going to briefly tell you what it's about. Well, you can activate it via our joystick, but you can also use an app on your desktop or even on your mobile phone. And after this, I'll demonstrate together with Mystic Light how uh, the gaming app works and what you can do with it. Because trust me, you can do a lot of stuff with it. And that can really enhance your monitor's capabilities and quality of... Well, it really depends on what kind of games you want to play, but you'll see that later. Alright, uh, if there's any questions you guys still have about the monitor, go ahead and... Um, I see some questions about the color space that it supports. Color space. Well, it uses a white color space, color gamut, so uh, it has a better color uh, than the average as sRGB. So, so it goes over 100% <coughs> yeah. SRG. Um, so this is also great when you're playing games. You know, you have more realistic game uh, color re reproduction. Even if you're doing some uh, content creation, it's going to be beneficial to uh, see some more realistic colors on your screen. And well, yeah. So great, great question, actually. So I, I said, actually, I think I forgot to mention that. So. Thank you very much, whoever it was. Uh, Fred is <laughs> asking, is this monitor only for gamers or content creators? Ooh, well, <clears throat> you see, I've mentioned that you know it has HDR. I mentioned that it has a white color space, color gamut, and it's 4K. So these kind of features, you know, they are really beneficial to gaming as well as content creation. You know, I don't do that much of content creation, but I can imagine that if I'm actually doing content creation, if I can afford a 4K monitor, you can definitely use. That's gonna be yeah. yeah, of course. So 
those kind of features are really important when it comes to content creation. And with content creation, you know, you're not going to need some ridiculous uh, 144 hertz uh, refresh rate. You'll be paying for that without using it. So, so maybe coming back to your question specifically to content creation, this is going to be actually a great, valuable option. And you can do gaming on it as well with all the gaming, gaming capabilities and features. So I guess to answer your question, yeah, it's awesome for both. <laughs> Great question. All right, any other questions? Well, let me see. All right, then uh, we, we, you can just some try questions to about the HDR standard that it supports. The HDR standards. Well, this is actually an HDR ready model, so you can expect HDR 100, and uh, obviously it will go up. So perhaps in the, in the future models we can uh, we will also have some other models with other standards. But for this, you uh, you would, you would just enjoy, well, you will enjoy the HDR capability with, with HDR content. So you wouldn't really notice too much of a difference. Uh, any follow-up question for that? Uh, let me see, is there a compatible app or software for Windows to configure and tweak these monitors or is it mainly done through monitor menus? Tweak and configure, well there are a lot of options in Windows to tweak and configure like resolution, you can tweak your color space in your uh, driver, there are quite a few stuff that you can do in, your, in the Windows. Does this one also support the uh, software OSD in Windows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can so adjust what, all what the monitor settings later. also in, uh, in the application in Windows. Exactly. So there's going to be a lot. Well, if you missed on that part, you can even tune it and tweak and configure it with your mobile phone if you uh, download the Gaming OS the app. So there's that. And uh, you guys can continue and I will set up the monitor to uh, do some demonstration for you guys. I will just fire some questions sure, at you sure, in the sure. meanwhile. Uh, Summertime is asking, uh, what is the refresh rate range? So I think uh, uh, that is I for think FreeSync. For free sync. Yeah. So, uh, great question. Uh, it's from 47 to 60. So, uh, if your FPS drops below 47, I mean, that's just the fact, uh, well, then FreeSync is going to be, in this case, not going to be much of a help. So, ideally... Yeah, with low frame rate compensation, you still... There yeah, but I mean, ideally, you would try yeah. to uh, set up your settings in such a way that it doesn't dr drop too much. Yeah. Let me see if we have more. Um, I guess a question about what is the warranty like? The warranty? The warranty for the monitor. Well, that also kind of depends. It's, it's on, region uh, dependent, yeah, I think. So you have to check that with your uh, local retailer to get the exact uh, period that you will have warranty on the monitor. Uh, Hammond is Don't asking, me, when is it releasing? When is it releasing? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be well. What is today's date? Fifteenth. Uh, yep. Yeah, fifteenth. So in thirteen days. Yeah. Twenty eighth. Twenty eighth at Compu uh, Computex. You, uh, it will have its glorious reveal to the world. The official release. Yes, but you guys build it to it. <laughs> They're asking if your drink is explosive. <laughs> I can make it explosive if I want. Maybe get your cup in front. <laughs> yeah, so Jai has a cup in the shape of a, a hand grenade. Mm. I even have a pin that you can put out. <laughs> okay. So now you have to run. But unfortunately, here in the office, we don't allow explosives. So that's what I have to do with. Uh. All right, almost set up, guys. Yeah. A little bit more patient. Let me also switch my. Maybe we can give away our code in the meanwhile. So if you haven't participated in the giveaway yet, uh, go to msi.com slash two slash insider. I will also drop the link in chat for the ones who cannot see the link there. Um, you have a chance to win uh, one of the Battlefield 5 uh, gaming keys. We will also be playing this live on stream. 
And now let me draw our second winner for today. Remember, you're going to pronounce that name. Oh yeah, I hope it's an easy name. We have a lot of entries, I see. Winner number two. The moment we have all been waiting for. Yeah, it's, it's, the name is okay. I think I can do this. So <laughs> you think? our second winner is Monday Busk. I hope I pronounce it correctly. Congratulations. You also won uh, a game code for Battlefield 5. If you haven't signed up yet, please do so. msr.com slash two slash insider. You will see multiple actions you can perform there. The more actions you perform, the bigger chance you will have to win. So try to perform as many as possible. Summertime is asking, what is the laptop? Oh, the laptop. Actually, the laptop is going to be resurfacing in a moment. But the laptop was our... Uh, Let me grab it anyways. This is our GE75. Uh, you can see that it's really not that thick, right? But um, there's a 2080 in here. Is it a regular 2080 or a Mexi cube? No, it's not a Mexi cube, it's regular. Okay, so it's a it's, full feature uh, yeah. RTX 2080. So, yeah, this is actually what I'm going to be, uh, what I'll be using just a little bit later to show you some use cases. But um, since you're curious, anyways. Our G75, you can uh, check it out in Google to see uh, all the specifications if you're interested. But this is really a gaming monster. So you can also enjoy 4K on this bad boy, but uh, that's for later. All right. So let me start with Mystic Light. And if I... Turning around, I can show you. Yeah, all right, here. So here, pay attention to, the, to this part for now. All right, um, you can easily download Mystic Light uh, on our website. Uh, just download the, the app and then it's very easy. If you look at my screen, you can see that if you open the app, you will have a bunch of options on the left that you can choose from. So for example, uh, rainbow, you can activate rainbow. And if you like, you can even connect this with uh, other hardware within the same ecosystem. So for example, if you have a keyboard that supports Mystic Light, you can activate that, link it, and a mouse, and a PC, for example, here, uh, I'm using the Trident X right now that's sitting below the table, just chilling. And you can link the Trident X with the rest. And um, if you don't want to, just unlink them. It's really easy. But uh, let's say we. Uh, well, let's say you want to tune the individual light spaces. So here in the in the dedicated monitor Mystic Light app, you can even change uh, you know the spe uh, specific lighting areas. So instead of using presets, but here you can see it's also very user friendly. Just click on uh, a preset, and then um, we can go back yeah, and see. Really so see right now I'm just going to select a few presets, uh, marquee. You can see it going left and right. Reminds me of Knight Rider back in the '90s. You know the, the <laughs> black car. Uh, yeah. Crime it does look like that. <laughs> it was so awesome. But um, yeah, uh, you can go for rainbow. I just picked rainbow so you can see now it's just uh, spectering through uh, rainbow. Cyber Seal is asking, can the monitor be overclocked? Oh. I well, think this one is fixed with at this 60 model, hertz. it's uh, it's going to be really, really hard. So I'll, I don't think that's possible yet. Uh, yeah, so I already showed you, show you the effects of Mystic Light. And uh, how you can use the uh, general purpose Mystic Light to, um, to, let's say, connect and link the entire ecosystem with each other. And uh, if you want, you can even download this on your mobile phone and you can change some lighting on your phone. It's really easy to use. And I don't think everybody's uh, doing that yet. So I think we're really 
well, offering something that's exclusive. Chad is asking the question, how many people actually look at the backside of their monitor? <coughs> well, you're currently looking at the backside of exactly. Jazz monitor. <laughs> I was expecting someone to ask that question. I mean... That's a good question. Though. I mean, fair enough. You know, uh, some people or most people, I can't speak for everyone, will put the monitor up against the wall or something. But there are also a lot of use cases where the monitor or the desk is, for example, sitting behind a couch. It really depends on how you decorate, how you... Or if you're um, going to gaming events and stuff exactly, like that. Exactly, or how you set up yeah. your room and where are you at that moment. And if you're taking the monitor to any places. So, yeah, I mean, if you're setting your monitor up against the wall, I guess, yeah, <laughs> nobody's going to see it. And it's also, uh, if you do want more useful RGB, we also have the MPG series and they have RGB on the front and it can actually respond to your game. So for example, if you're playing CSGO, you have all different areas where, for example, you can show your health, your ammo, your armor, stuff like that. I think even the number of headshots you had. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of options. Yeah, so that's what the MPG series are for. They also have the uh, light on the front, front of the monitor. So that one's, those ones you do see. <laughs> and. Uh, well, if you guys have any uh, questions regarding Mystic Light, just ask. And uh, actually, how long was it when you did the dedicated Mystic Light live stream? Uh, a couple of weeks ago. Couple you should be able ago. to find it on, on YouTube. I mean, you, you guys should really just check it out. Just pure for the, the fun of it. Just to see. Because in that We're live stream... We're also showing MB and Link in a sense Great Odyssey. Yeah. And we also linked uh, Nanoleaf and Philips Hue lighting with exactly. it. Exactly. So, so Mystic everything Light, responded to the game. The ecosystem is not just, you know, MSI uh, RGB effects or uh, MSI hardware. You can use tons of other manufacturers, other companies to, uh, well, if they're compatible, to use them with Mystic Light. Yeah. And they have even, uh, we even developed the ambient link for you to enjoy with Assassin's Creed for now. More uh, developments in, in, on its way. But like Mike said, you can just enjoy in that live stream and see how your entire room will be able to react to what you're doing, what you're doing behind your screen. Danny Hood is asking a good question. Does it have a visa amount? Visa amount, yeah. <clears throat> it just, but obviously you have to take off the, the, the standard stand. feeding and then you will have a fist amount. So, I mean... So you can use it, for example, to hang it on the wall? Yeah, so I can imagine, you know, with this kind of size, um, it's quite handy to have them on the wall, uh, or if you're just a very neat person, you don't want to see the footing. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely possible. Uh, CyberSeal is asking, are you guys doing anything with Toby eye tracking and monitors? No, I don't think we have any... Not at the moment. No. So I can say for the future yes or no but perhaps right now we did work together with uh, toby eye tracking for uh notebooks for example in the past so it might be something we we could also consider <laughs> for uh, monitors yeah you might have just gave my colleagues some new ideas yeah. <laughs> so let us know if you're interested yeah we'll definitely take a look into it <clears throat> all right so that was mystic light and now moving on to uh the next part which is gaming osd that i've told you about but now i can show you what kind of capabilities there are. Um, if you look at the screen, Let me see. Uh, yeah. you will see, okay, this is the interface. <clears throat> On the left, you have a bunch of presets. Well, these are uh, already profiles that you can use if you don't want to use anything else that you have made yourself. So for example, if you're going to play uh, for FPS games, some shooting games, if we prefer, you can choose this uh, profile. Well, you can't see what's happening right now, so... Because um, this is happening on the monitor. The, exactly. the capture card will not you grab will not this. Show you, so. yeah, it's, it's hardware-wise. So, yeah. for example, if you go to FPS, you will see that, okay, hey, the brightness here was changed. Uh, contrast changed. Sharpness changed. The night vision is off. Color temperature is set to normal, etc., etc. So... Um, if you, if you guys can read uh, what's on here, please tell us. Then if you have questions, then I can tell you, okay, what, what's here, what's there. Because I'm not going to name everything. But if you're interested to know, I'll tell you. But the point here is what I'm trying to make is that with all the presets, if you go to racing, you can see that, for example, hey, FPS, the brightness is set at 90, contrast at 70, sharpness at 2. Just a few variables of the entire uh, interface. And then if you go to racing, 
you can see, hey, it's changed to 85. Hey, it went up to 80, and then sharpness went up to went down to zero. This was all pre-configured uh, by some general standards and opinions to, um, well, it obviously is, it's not going to be uh, applicable or nice to see for everybody. But, but you can adjust it if you exactly. like it better. This is, so this is only in case if you don't want to adjust anything, you can use this. Obviously here you can also just uh, tune everything to your liking so you can change in the presets or you can go here to a little plus sign here and you can make a brand new profile yourself that's suited for Battlefield or uh, Apex Legends or CSGO, Rocket League, you know, any games that you would like to play where you would think, hey, in that game it's really important that I don't see too much dark areas. So I would like to have uh, the dark areas to be lit up a bit more so I can see op opponents more easy or hey, in this game, sharpness is everything. Then you can set up sharpness for that specific game and everything around it. So you can tune it and then save it and just press add. Edward is asking, is there an option to improve response time? On what basis is it done? So like an overdrive feature? Uh, actually, uh, there is, uh, let me see where the option is. Yeah, here. Here, for example, it says response time. You can choose to set the response time to normal or fast or fastest. So right now, I think it was set on fast. Well, this was in standard. So here you can already choose the response time yourself. Yeah. So you don't have to tune everything or do any complicated uh, measurements or something. And but just if you're going, use the app. so if you you don't need a very fast screen, for example, if you're doing video editing, um, it's usually better to have it to a lower setting because you will not have uh, as much overshoot as you will have when you're uh, when you use overdrive on the monitor. Um, because overshoot could give some slight errors in the in the image signal. So if you don't need a very fast response time, just use it at normal. If you're going to play fast ga uh, paced games where um, color accuracy and stuff isn't as important, mm -hmm. then you can lower your uh, response times there. Yeah, exactly. It's like when you have a Lamborghini, you're not going to use the Lamborghini to go to IKEA. You know, it has a specific use case. You can. <laughs> and then, but yeah, then you, can. you, you might as well can. use it in the eco mode. Yeah, <laughs> but if we're going to a racetrack, you don't want to use it in eco mode. Exactly. And uh, well, okay. Well, I'm at it anyways. Uh, here, for example, you can also change the screen size. You can do some image enhancements. Uh, set it to strong, medium, weak. So this will also. Battle nerd is asking. So the aspect ratio can be made for three or sixteen ten. <clears throat> here we have four by it's three. Yeah, yeah, you have four by three, and you can also have uh, a certain size. Yeah, like so for example, twenty-four, 24 inch. And if you want to play like an esports title, and if you want to have the uh, better overview, you can actually uh, like pretend using twenty-four inch water. Yeah. And one of my favorites is that here it says screen assistance. You see a bunch of crosshairs. Yes, those are crosshairs. So what these crosshairs do is basically, if you try one, you click on start. Uh, well, you're not you're not gonna see it, but right, right here, about this big, there's a crosshair on my screen, and this crosshair is gonna be overlaid on top of everything that you do. So if you open a game, and you're using a sniper, and there's no crosshair, well, there you have a crosshair. There you have a crosshair. <laughs> That's always gonna be on there. Um, it's open for discussion. Some people see it as cheating. Yeah, I was just going to mention that some people who are just really upright, fair to the max, maybe they were going to say, but that's kind of cheating, right? Road Knight is asking, I think I missed it, but did it have a display port? I see that you're using HDMI. Mm. Yes, it does have display port. It has two HDMI 2.0, and it also has Type C that carries the display port signal. So you okay. can use it the same way as, as display yep. port. So uh, we have some more questions. Uh, Flying Zero Twenty Four is asking: Is the monitor available now? Not yet. Official not yet. release will be Computex mm. later this month. Yeah. And uh, when exactly is on the shelf? In your specific region? Yeah. Also depends from region to region. So yeah. that's something you should it's check not, after release with exactly, your so local. It's all going to be different. Keelan Askew is asking: Does MSI Gaming OSD Two work with any screen, also other than MSI? Uh, no. no. 
it doesn't work with every screen, especially not MSI branded. So yeah, that there's. So it doesn't work with screens that are not no. not from MSI. It, you, it will not work. Um, Saif Eldin says just arrived. What are the monitor specs? It's a 31.5 <laughs> yeah. inch monitor with Ultra HD 60 Hz VA panel, 4 milliseconds response yeah. time. VA panel. Already had that one. Oh, you already <laughs> had that one. Um, so it has a display port, two times yeah. HDMI Type C connector. It's curved. It's curved. Has RGB lighting. Yeah, Mystic Light, you just missed that part. <laughs> Such a shame. <laughs> but if you're interested, Michiel did an entire live stream about Mystic Light, so you can check that and out. And I see Saif Alan is also watching on YouTube. I think you can actually uh, oh, yeah, go, back, can go in, back. back in the live stream yeah. so you can see what happened before. I think that's a really nice feature. Yeah, it's a good feature. YouTube. Um, okay, continuing. Here we have some great multitasking feature features. Well, the PIP, the picture in picture, or the PPB, uh, the picture back picture, depending on whatever you like in or by. So, picture in picture is like another yeah. small screen within the larger mm -hmm. screen, and picture exactly. by picture is next, like to really next to each other. Next to each other. So, uh, for example, if you hook up multiple sources of. Uh, Say you're hooking up a laptop or a PlayStation or whatever that will give a, dis a display signal. You can use them simultaneously on the monitor and then simply go to PIP or P2B, uh, PB, PBP, and then choose, okay, whatever sources that you uh, have put in, uh, well, the source, and then just click on start. And here you can choose on locations, uh, left top or right top, because right now it's picture in picture. So it's going to be left top in the picture or left or right top well you get it and if you go to picture by picture uh you can also select okay what is the source just press stop um, i mean start and it will do it right away and there's even alarm function on your monitor so it's really like so if you have your frozen pizza and put it <clears> in the <throat> oven yeah then you won't forget it so obviously, you know, you have your alarm clock in your needs. mobile phone, <laughs> but hey, if, if you lost your, if you're lost your phone at a couch or you didn't bring it with you from upstairs or anything, you know, you're still going to have the alarm clock function. So um, Battlenerd is asking, will there be 4K 144 hertz model? I, um, at this point, it's only 4K 60 hertz, but we definitely also look into higher refresh mm -hmm. rate. Yeah. So I cannot tell you everything exactly. about it yet, but it might be something that could be yeah. coming. As we are constantly looking forward to, uh, you know, uh, implementing improvements, providing with more options, and it's definitely going to be a very viable option. It's something we look into. Yeah. Surely. And some, and the other little function that I also really like is that it's very simple, it's very intuitive, and just one click, you will have your FPS display on your screen. Obviously, most people will use Afterburner, uh, yeah, the MSI Afterburner for this function specifically, but but that's a lot more. Um, well, there are a lot more functions there that you can use and features. And here, if you simply just want to display the, uh, the refresh rate, well, the FPS, go to here. Yeah. And uh, there's actually a lot more functions to it. <laughs> this is like one window, and then here we have two. Other windows, say split window. <laughs> Mr. Master Ducks is saying, I burned so many pizzas. My phone has an alarm. Sadly, didn't always save my pizzas. <laughs> so, well, were you just too lazy to get up and go to your pizza, or you didn't hear your alarm? Or <laughs> I only burned my pizza once, and after that, I've learned my lesson because I was so hungry. I was so <laughs> looking forward to eating my pizza. Always and make sure to have a spare. Yeah. Pizza. But of course, <laughs> at that moment, you're in the middle of your game, you're just going to be like, after this round, I'm going to go. But you end up forgetting, and there goes your night. Yep. All right, so uh, we have the split window function. Here again, really enhances your uh, multi uh, multitasking capability. So here on the left, you can choose whatever shape or uh, splitting you will want to do with multiple windows. So say I want to have four windows display at the same time. You click on here and then choose. Um, let me open up some other stuff just to give you some more options. So for example, here now we have a lot of stuff open 
uh, we can choose okay uh, I want settings uh, I want uh, uh, Google, Google Chrome and file explorer maybe some uh, real tech audio console I, i'm just clicking random stuff <laughs> and then you click on say, reply. try saving your pizza in the middle of an fps match mm. yeah, that's true <laughs> i cannot argue with that yeah sometimes you gotta you just gotta make life decisions right yeah pizza or losing easy or choice winning and have a little bit crunchier pizza <laughs> <laughs> a little bit um yeah so right so i've chosen i want four items displayed at the same time and I've chosen which one and then I clicked on apply and this is what happened so in case you didn't see it let me do it again uh, the kingdom is asking I want to versus MSI apply. host in the game any chance for that so do you mean like fewer games like where you can play against us that might be something we can can look into if we can do a live stream with that we're very flexible and if you guys want to if ask you have any suggestions for viewer games in certain games let exactly. us know and we, do, we will if discuss you, it if you like rocket league knock on his door <laughs> if you want to be carried on csgo knock on my door <laughs> or peter's if you want to lose in battlefield go in a team with eric <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky that he's not watching the stream right now. <laughs> so I hope you, uh, you guys seen this. <laughs> CyberSeal uh, saying, I got married and surprisingly my pizza started cooking themselves. You got lucky. <laughs> I don't know if that's the case for all married people. <laughs> oh, now it's getting really sensitive. <laughs> oh, it's getting really sensitive. I'm pretty sure my girlfriend at home is very, very much disagreeing right now. Jet777 is saying... My allegiance is clearly with the pizza. I have no problem admitting that I will betray my team in favor of the pizza. If it's a good pizza, wow. I can imagine. Yeah, I'm gonna blacklist you <laughs> in my game. <laughs> but it's it's about pizza. <clears throat> that that's a good excuse. I mean, yes, of course, but you you can't just let your team die because of a pizza. If it's a good Come pizza, I, I would also think twice about. It. Yeah, think twice, <laughs> but you only stick to thinking. You would not act on your thinking. Uh, it depends <clears throat> on how the pizza smells. Okay. <laughs> Coming back to the game USD. So the last uh, the window I want I would like to show you after split window is tools. Here you can even adjust your mouse speed. You don't have to look up in your window uh, mouse and then go to settings. Just open the app. Boom! There you go. Power settings, you can even time it. You don't have to download anything specific anymore. You can magnify it. Like, it, it's, it's just what it says, tools, right? To help you, <laughs> besides <laughs> the main functions. Mr. Master is saying, it's not sensitive. I'm sure his wife got married and electrical <laughs> appliances start fixing themselves too. <laughs> that could be the case. Oh, That's a bit how it usually works, like two ways. Uh, guys, we have people of little H's watching the stream come on so they know how it works with their parents not everything not everyone is above 18 <laughs> but good one okay I've shown you mystic light and gaming OSD so those are also you know those, those are all uh, exclusive softwares for uh, our branded products but obviously you can use the monitor with your desktop, with your high-end system. But what else can we use the monitor for? I mean, that can be the only to use case for it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's capable of it, but I wouldn't really put my life behind a monitor to block a bullet. I mean, if it's shooting like a Magnum or like a Desert Eagle or a Sniper, I'm doomed. Yeah, if there's no wall in between, you're doomed. Yeah. I think I'm gonna prefer to hook up my laptop on this. The king I'm saying is suggesting to play Unreal Tournament. There's a free Unreal Tournament available on Epic Launcher. Yeah, unfortunately, I think Epic stopped uh, further developing that version of Unreal Tournament. I know which one you mean. All right. So, like I mentioned, but I I'm always up for Unreal Tournament. Yeah, he's uh, it's a good king. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't suggest you to uh, play with him. One to one hour tournament and insta gift. Yeah. That's good stuff. I mean, Eric already tried that once, and I think he he cried like for a week. We had the trip down memory lane with MSI, where yeah. we had all iconic hardware and stuff. And in the end, we played some hour tournament 2004, insta gift one v one, 
Eric didn't like it. <laughs> no, he did not like it. But he oh. uses a way too high sensitivity. Then, yeah, you miss. Sometimes you can listen to feedback. <laughs> All right, so imagine this. You have a perfectly capable laptop. In this case, it's the MSI GE75 with a 2080 Ti in there, a full-size 2080 Ti. This one, 2080, right? Yeah, 2080. So, yeah. And so you have a perfectly capable gaming laptop, but obviously with a laptop, you're stuck with the monitor, the screen that came with it. So here in this case, it's a 1080p screen, 17 inch. If you're satisfied with that, sure, that's entirely possible. But if you want to enjoy some 4K gaming, and hey, you're a gaming on a laptop, you know, it's a perfect case to just hook up. And even though, because you're a daily driver, I think many people also use an external monitor, keyboard, mouse with it when they're at home. Exactly, so, you know, just hook it up, and you're good to go. I'm just gonna disappear for a little moment because I've gotta hook up the cable. All right, so so now the computer is attached using DisplayPort, notebook, HDMI. Exactly, so right now it's hooked up to the Trident X and it's also hooked up to the GE75. And you want to enjoy some gaming on your laptop, but on a bigger screen with a bigger resolution. Sure, why not? Hook it up, put in the cable, and all you have to do is just simply switch input source. And unfortunately, we cannot show this, but <laughs> yeah, you can't really show what I'm doing because I'm using the gaming OSD to select the source. But obviously, uh, it's very easy because right now, if uh, Mike Let shows see, you the can... screen, it's a little bit hard to show. Can you maybe grab this? Yeah. There we go. <clears throat> all right, so you, all you have to do is go up to the gaming OSD and select input source and then select the correct. I know, guys, it's a little bit hard for you guys to read this, but we have reached uh, <laughs> the limit of the cable. But here it says HDMI 1 or 2. I selected 2 because I put into uh, 2, and then it will show this. And let me just go back to the previous source which was on display port. And so this is the desktop of my Trident X. And then, well, what I just explained, you can very easily switch to your laptop. And also what I just told you and explained, you can use picture in picture or picture by picture if you're doing some uh, something else, multitasking with some uh, uh, content creation activities or something, or you're even uh, gaming on this monitor and at the same time watching your uh, Twitch streaming uh, chat or something like that. You know, you can you can you can do that, and it doesn't stop there because why not fully optimize uh, optimally use all the all the sources that he has, all the interfaces. I mean, I even brought my PlayStation 2 to show you, uh, 3, 4, to show you guys. <laughs> 2, Christ. 3, 4. But I had 2 and what, 3 what? and 4. But Why would you play on a console if you can play on a computer? <clears throat> of course, I'm not going to compare this to console, I mean, desktop gaming. I mean, I'm not a console gaming peasant. I'm <laughs> full-fledged gaming PC gaming on master desktop, race, right? The master <laughs> race. But... Cyrusil is asking a very good question. I wonder, uh, could you attach a phone to it via USB Type-C to the monitor? Well, if your phone allows it and has the function to transfer screen to here, I don't expect that's going to be a problem. But maybe I think this is for charging purposes, I think you mean. If, if that's what I you suppose. mean, yes, because yeah. this USB Type-C uh, interface right here has the specific tar uh, charging option. So you can charge your phone using your monitor, right? Yep. So here we have a PlayStation 4. So say you also have a console at your disposal and you would like to you know, game very comfortably behind the 4K gaming monitor. Same case as how you, how you would use the laptop. Unfortunately, uh, I just have one cable here so I just have to switch. So it's the same process, you know, you put in uh, the HDMI into your PlayStation and then they repeat the step what I just showed you via gaming OSD select in a, the proper uh, source and voila you have the interface with your console 
but I'm pretty sure people don't want to do that and just game on PC, right? <clears throat> of course, no, I only, <laughs> I only play on my console when I'm taking breaks from play on my PC. This is, is saying, this I reckon is most casual. PC gamers will own a console too, right? No, I don't own a console. <clears throat> Yeah, are you guys, do you guys even know PC. what this is? I'm just kidding. If you have a PC, you don't need one. <laughs> no, you don't. But that's... <laughs> I wish the master was saying, Hey, look, a console. It's like a PC, but limited. Exactly, you get it. <laughs> exactly. I'm not going to fight that point. Because <laughs> I can't fight that point. That's a fact. But, all jokes aside, it's a great use case for... A gaming monitor like this 4k 32 inches and especially you know it has HDR capability with the new consoles they have HDR content and HDR capabilities and capped at 60 frames per second so this is really the sweet spot for when you're taking the break from gaming on your desktop to just hook up well it's already hooked up and just switch the input go to your PlayStation strafe back lean back and have some casual gaming. Okay, Battle Nerd is with you. He says, I own a PS4 and a PC. Yeah, I mean, I really, in my specific case, I only use my console when my friends are around and they don't own a gaming PC. So we can still enjoy some gaming, really casual, like I said, on the console. So in that case, you know, it's also very nice to just simply hook up your console, switch your input, and that's it. And if you want to go back to a laptop, go to the gaming OSD, switch to the interface, uh, switch to HDMI 1, for example, and then you have your gaming laptop. So you can use like three sources at the same time. Well, if you really want to make this a crazy carnival, even hook up your Apple, you have four sources now. <laughs> you can switch between four. <laughs> so I'm just trying to explain to you guys how you can optimally make use of this kind of gaming monitor so the MAG 321 uh, CURV 4k with HDR FreeSync at 32 inches so these are really just great use cases that you can use at the same time well not at the same time but you can hook them up at the same time and switch and you can use them at the same time with a picture in picture and picture by exactly pictures. you actually can so uh, imagine that when you have when you have such a gaming monitor that you have a lot more uses to it than just hook it up to a gaming desktop because I think we all do have a little bit more than just a gaming desktop at home. But let's get back to how people should use a monitor with a gaming PC, right? Ah, come on. <laughs> you really hate consoles, don't you? I'm, I'm not a fan. <laughs> so it's time to say goodbye to my Road PlayStation is saying 4. I have a Nintendo 64. Does that count? I think I actually do own a console. I have a Super Nintendo, but that's the only one I have. So it's... Quite yeah. a while ago. That was no. from the era when I didn't have a gaming PC. Those yet. kind of stuff I don't even count as consoles. Those and kind of right. stuff I count as childhood. It doesn't <laughs> belong in consoles. It's diehard <laughs> childhood. You can't categorize them. <laughs> so let's get into some proper gaming. <clears throat> All right. So uh, you've got you guys have received a lot of information. And if you still have any questions, you know, any, any ambiguities, please, if you just joined, uh, ask them in the chat. We'll keep track of the chat. We'll try to answer your questions. And in the meanwhile, if you don't have anything to bother us with, we'll start some nice gameplay. And I hope you like Battlefield 5 because uh, we'll show you now the real life performance of Battlefield 5 on 4K 32 inches. And Mike will be playing with me in the multiplayer game. So let's yep. see how, my, uh, how many assets we can rack. Good idea. All right. Let's fire it up. If I start throwing my grenade, you guys will know that I've died plenty of times. <laughs> Let me grab my headset with it. Uh, so you have to invite me to a lobby, right? Yes. Let me just grab my headset and... Almost good to go. <clears throat> Alright, uh, so maybe the, you know before we really dive into the gameplay, uh, let me just show you that um, what kind of settings I'm currently playing at. Alright, so you see here it actually says 1080p. Now the reason for this is because 
we are playing well we are capturing our gameplay of streaming streaming them to you guys and because of technical limitations, limitations of the capture card we, we can yeah. capture 4k so uh, we like, hope we can in the future but at this yeah. point our capture cards can only support up to so, 1080p 60 hertz so we got to get creative and if it works it ain't stupid so if you set it up to 1080p and you go up to uh, let me see where is it I think it's better fast yeah. yeah. So if you go to resolution scaling and you put it to 200%, more or less have the same thing as when you're playing. You actually have exactly the same thing because yeah. you get 1920, 200% times 2. So, so you'll get 3840 yeah. uh, and 1080 times 2 is 2160. It's exactly the resolution mm -hmm. of the 4K monitor. So, so internally it will render yeah. an Ultra HD resolution, but because we cannot capture it, we will just do it through scaling. So the frame yeah. rate is mm -hmm. still representative for ultra hd and not for full exactly HD. so we are playing at two times okay maybe it was a little bit weird because um it's not like we can't choose 4k uh it, no, well it's not like we can't stream 4k it's because the game itself is also limited to full hd only because it knows it's being duplicated to capture cards so i think to be more specific that's what we're trying to say yeah. here the game limits yeah. to 1080p. So we can't physically can choose that. anything higher than 1080p here, even if we wanted to. So that's why we have to go to resolution scaling instead of 200%. Well, now, <clears throat> to show you what kind of... Uh, well, this is not really interesting yet because these are just some basic uh, lighting and motion blur. Motion blur always off. Yeah, motion blur is... Uh Yes, it's like PC Master Race, it's like a motion blur of Master Race. Never play with motion blur, unless while well, you're playing some racing games or something like that. You know? And if you want to, that effect, you can also just drink a lot of beer, and you, only if you're not a miner. And I think you have <laughs> motion blur like in real life. Yeah, <laughs> then you will also experience motion blur. Alright, so if we go to advanced, uh, let me just quickly go through some settings that we have chosen here. We're playing on DX12 here. Uh, this is, uh, well, if you are interested in well, ray tracing, you will have to play in DX12 because in DX11 it's not available, it's only in 12. But just to warn you, Ultra HD and ray tracing is still a very difficult combination <coughs> so far. Yep, definitely. Because ray tracing has quite a big impact on your frame rate, so it will drop significantly if you switch it on, yeah, especially on a 4K resolution. And especially, uh, I think Battlefield 5, first of all, even though it's from last year, it's still one of the beautiful, the most beautiful games out there, like, you know, you know visual-wise. And it's also still one of the few games that already has ray tracing and NVIDIA DLSS. And I think, you know, more and more game developers will start to implement these kind of features. But, you know, here we can uh, still show you, okay, how you can utilize this. And I'm not going to show you in real life just how much performance dent it will create when you are uh, when no ultra 4K and plus ray tracing. And Cyber Seals asking a very good question. Can we get the system specs that you're running on? Yeah, sure. So, for those of you who are also wondering, please listen. Right now, I'm gaming on the Trident X. So, uh, for those of you who doesn't know, it's our uh, sort of like a console-sized gaming desktop. And he has an i7 9700K right now in there. You can go up to 9900K. But in this setup, we're using 9700K to show you. You don't need, you know, the, the highest of the highest to actually cable, uh, to uh, play on 4K. And GPU, we are having a 2080 Ti in there right now. It can also come with 2080. Yeah. The uh, system itself comes in different configurations. Yeah. So usually uh, it will be i7 9700K plus 2080. And then you go up to 9900K with 2080 Ti. But in this case, we've put in a 2080 Ti, because why not? Um, so yeah, uh, we have uh, 32, gig, uh, 32 gigabyte of RAM, DDR4 RAM. And um, yeah, what else do you want to know? Yeah, I think that's most it for the, the, the most important yeah. parts. And <clears throat> so in, in the menu, you know, it, uh, it says 74, 73, but uh, in game it's going to change a little. Akbar is saying the best ray tracing so far is in Metro Exodus. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, I still have to try mm -hmm. that one. I haven't seen also, that yet. That's also the newest implementation, so yeah. I, I guess it makes sense. Um, I will try that out. Yeah. Um, but what I can tell you is that 
when you do enable uh, ray tracing here, because I've already tested it, it actually, well, it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to make a huge dent in your performance, but it's still going to be very playable, because right now, when we play uh, in-game, it's going to be a steady, steady, steady 70, 80-ish FPS. And when you turn on ray tracing, with DLSS, that is, because DLSS will really um, give you that performance boost at a higher resolution and still keeping more or less the same quality. You will still be playing at 60 FPS, give or take. So sometimes it goes under and sometimes it goes a little bit above, but you know, between 50 and a little bit over 60. So that's Battlefield 5. So I, I guess the game is already pretty well optimized for this. Battle Nerd is asking, does the monitor have G-Sync? No, this model has free sync now. Yeah. Right now we have G-Sync monitors, but that's only in our eSports lineup. So our yeah. um, 240 NXT, hertz. Yeah. Yeah, NXT uh, 251R uh, with 240 hertz. So you can already see you know, 240 hertz in eSports. Yeah, that's the combination there. But uh, okay, let's quickly go through the settings here. I already said Danny Hood is asking about the RAM speed. I think... Well, of 2666. It's 2666, yeah. yes. <clears throat> so, uh, let's see what are important here. Well, which things? I have a high dynamic range, I've set to auto. I mean, why not enjoy it when you have a high dynamic uh, HDR ready monitor, anyways? So, this is turned to on. We have scaling to 200% to mimic, well, to put it to 4K essentially. Frame limiter, usually, you know, you will like to put this to your monitor refresh rate. So in my case, if I put to put it to 60, that will be ideal because then I don't have mismatched uh, timings above 60 frames. But I would like to show you guys just what kind of performance FPS we can get out of this setup right here on 4K. So that's why I set it to 120 so you can see how far it will go beyond 60. So remember, if you're using this at home, put this to your monitor refresh rate so you don't get mismatched timings. Melner is asking G-Sync uh, compatibility through FreeSync. Now it's not officially uh, G-Sync certified. No, not official. But with most of the monitors, you can still do it. They will still work most of the time. Uh, vertical sync, I have turned to off. Uh, let me see what's so here. You can see everything All is out. <laughs> set to ultra. Uh, well, except for the XR. So yep. ray tracing, it's set to off for now. And um, yeah, it's maxed out, and let's see how this performs. Yeah, let's get into the game. Can you send me an invite? Mm. Mm, do I want to invite you? You can also play by yourself, but then you have no one to carry you. Can you cover my. Oh, you're gonna carry me? <laughs> yeah, well, of course. I always do, right? Oh, let's see then, huh? <laughs> Guys, you, you heard him, right? You heard him. He's gonna carry e me. Easy carry. Alright, I invited you. Join my squad, squad now. I see. All right. So let's see. What are we gonna start with? Um, Conquest, Grand Operations. Maybe just some warming up with Tim that match, and then sure. see from there. Yeah. So guys, obviously this is not. This is not our game to go. To go to. It's Eric's game to go to. So if you have any tips for us, you know, hey, uh, um, any strafing techniques no. or... Uh, so if it is your go-to nice game and you have any good advice? Yeah, or any okay. nice camping areas, please tell us. We'll okay. uh, happily welcome them. What weapon should I take? I'm going for assault. <clears throat> yeah. So if you look at left top of your, mo of your screen, you can see what frame rates I'm actually playing at right now. So it's a steady 80 plus, and remember, I'm playing at 4K, maxed out at 32 inches. So this kind of performance, as I explain later, you know, uh, 4K is really not that far fast anymore. It's well achievable within a lot of games. I have no idea where we have to go, but I'll just follow you. <laughs> yeah, let's see. The monitor, my head for, headset is full. All right. <clears throat> Remember, cover my six, Tango. <laughs> Got your back, bro. So, I even reached 100 FPS. Uh, 
And if I turn on if I turn on ray tracing right now, uh, the perform performance will be approximately minus 50, 45 percent. On the frame rate, I think also in battlefield depends a bit on the map you're playing. On the ultra, yeah, 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 yeah. Depends on the areas and uh, how many simultaneous actions are happening. So I okay, guess we have found the enemies. They're all right here. Got That's him. one. There's one more. Got him. Nice. Oh, there's one more here. Really? Yeah, you got me. <laughs> Did you get him? Yeah, I'm gonna nice. jump in his head. Can you pick me up? I'm in from T back. Outside? No, I'm teabagging. <laughs> okay, please okay. take me up. Wait, 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 where are you? Okay, where? now our, our other ally <laughs> oh, yeah, who I, did support me. I didn't I didn't notice <laughs> I didn't notice up. I was medic, okay? <laughs> My apologies. Ah, uh, there you are. I'm a little bit behind. Okay, I'm next to you again. I think there's one guy on the right here behind uh, the stacks. Never mind. So still a steady 90 plus. All right. I got one. There was one in the open. There are a couple on the tower. Oh yeah. I think that guy's I really dead. gotta get used to uh, the shooting mechanism uh, mechanism here. There's a sniper uh, underneath the tower. Okay, he hit me. Uh, I don't think anybody's gonna. Oh, move. I got hit. I don't think anybody's gonna save. Ah, oh, there's one in the hangar. <clears throat> I'll just kill myself. <clears throat> you know that that's the thing with Battlefield. Every time I play a Battlefield game, I think I started with uh, Battlefield Three. I just keep getting amazed by how the game looks each each generation. And here again, it's just wow. Preferably, I would have used an M4 and modern weapons. I mean, that's more my thing. But uh, I think the old, old school stuff's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but I just like the uh, the modern ones a little better. Okay, I'm behind you. Why are you behind my butt? I don't trust you. Following you. And because the environment is so rich, there's so much details, there's so much happening, so much props. It's sometimes quite hard to see when uh, when an enemy is running around. I mean, at least that's that's. That's what usually I why I play I at low settings because it's easier <laughs> to spot your enemy. Yep, but I guess sports mode. This is uh, realism. That's true. That's a lot better. And this game, this gun hits for shit on long distance. Yeah, this is the new gaming monitor, Hamid. It's the MAG three to one CQRV four K gaming monitor. Cool for saying Our Battlefield first. two Our was first. great. Yeah, Battlefield two was was a really cool game. <clears throat> I especially like the, <coughs> the fighter jets in Battlefield 2. Yeah, those are super. I mean, cool. I mean, yeah, it's it's 60 hertz, but if you're playing AAA title games, you know, 60 hertz is sometimes really all you need. And of course, if you're playing competitive games, uh, you preferably want higher refresh rate. But for those kind of uses, I guess you uh, you're not looking at 4K gaming monitors. Is everyone down there? I guess. Uh, I think they got backstabbed. <laughs> oh, there's one still up here. Where? Okay, oh, I think okay. I got him. But I'm almost dead. Guys, you want to see some explosion? Yeah. Don't blow me up, please. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually pretty close to that. <laughs> you like to play with fire. <laughs> All right, where are the people at? I don't know. Do you have a sniper? What do you have? I see one there. Oh, you're shooting next to me. Yep. Oh, where are they? Oh, 
planning to snipe me. Oh yeah, Battlefield 2. Yeah, I remember those times. I forgot. Do you remember the map in Battlefield 2 with... Uh, uh, with the ship in front? And then you can grab a fighter jet there. Go to the mainland. No, it's 32 oh, inches. I don't remember the, the name of that map. Look at all the details. I think it's the most famous map in Battlefield 2. With the two very large chimneys on the mainland. I didn't notice, but we were actually winning. Are we winning? Yeah, I we think were, we're doing we're, quite okay. We're winning by quite a margin. Got 58, five kills 58 and I only died once, so that's pretty decent, right? I told you I would carry you. You have one more frag. Exactly, and and you got killed once more. Okay. Oh. Okay, it's not it's not done yet. Fighting with the sniper from distance, that's a bad idea. How is he not dead? Now look who has more frags now. The end of the game. <laughs> Easy victory. <laughs> wait, wait, wait how, how does the scoring work here? Oh, TS3 got it. He says, a oh, micro talking about the lion plant. Yeah, that was the one. Or Delian plant? I don't know how you pronounce it. But that was the one. That was a good map. Do you remember that one? Two very large chimneys and uh, the ship in front. You could take a fighter jet, fly through the I remember chimneys. the fighter jet. I remember the ship, but the chimneys, damn it. It was a good map. Oh, I'm getting too old. And then you had, I think it was USA against China, and I think you had the Chinese airbase in the back, in between the mountains. Uh-huh. It was good. Yeah, correct, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Oh my lord. I didn't know my memories go, can, go <laughs> can go back that far. But how, how long is that ago, uh, Battlefield 2? That's like, what, t eight? Eight years, eight, ten years. Let me Google this. <laughs> Maybe I think it's more than ten years. I think there was a, like around two thousand six or eight. Yeah, that's if more I... than ten years. Let me see. Two thousand five, even. Wow, two thousand five. Fourteen years ago. Fourteen years ago. Jesus Christ! I'm going to install it again this weekend. <laughs> Fourteen years ago. Wow, Ooh, snow map. Are you uh, still on the wait, same wait. server? <coughs> no, 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 I'm gonna invite you again. Oh, let me just Because now we can see, we have warmed up, if we can try something else. Oh, shit, oh, shit, cancel. Yes, uh, back. Actually, there are some modes in here that I don't really know. Domination, what's domination? Ah. Wanna capture some flags? Sure. Then we Capture the flag was a cool game mode in our tournament. Oh, you had an R and R. Yeah, R tournament like too. Yeah, five versus five, instant get capture the flag. Uh, best did, game did you, mode ever. Did you play Soldier Fortune back in the days? No, I haven't played. It. It's good. Yeah, Soldier Fortune because when you said capture the flag, that's like that's always the only game that I think about when people say capture the flag. <laughs> Soldier of Fortune two, guys, come on! Anybody watched or played Soldier Fortune two back in the days? You know, the strafing and shooting. You can shoot people's limbs off. Oh, <laughs> That's times. brutal. Yeah, man, you, can, you could customize your uh, nicknames. So you have some crazy uh, characters and colors and stuff. And you would join clans. Oh, the golden days. Soldier Fortune 2. Are you in the building? I mean, when I had bad grades, that was always because of Soldier Fortune 2. 
So in this map, I'm getting 80 FPS steady. 70, 80. So compared to the last map, this map is a bit heavier. Yeah, it's a bit more demanding. Where did you go? Uh, I have no idea, I just died. Oh, you just died? Yeah, I just died. I, 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 I can't get used to uh, this game's recoil. Yeah, it's, I think it's quite different from Counter Strike. For it's example. really different. I didn't even see him, man. Uh, Jesus, I need some glasses. How do I pick someone up? Uh, you're, you're a medic? No, you can only do that when you're a medic? Yes. Oh, oh what's happening? Complete squad wipe, okay. Oh, I forgot we were playing capture the flag. <laughs> I was just, oh, yeah, I was just team death matching. Me too. Deploy. Okay, where are the flags? Um, A is captured, we gotta go to B and C. For F's sake. I hit him so many times and he didn't die. Interesting. There are a couple outside your house. <laughs> Mr. Mustard Box knows what's up. Yeah, he did. Spoof, pass. You paid attention. <laughs> uh, Call of Duty Allied Assault. Wasn't Allied Assault's um, Medal of Honor? I think that's not Call of Duty. I didn't play uh, Call of Duty or uh, Medal of Honor that much back in the day. I did play 1 and 2 Call of Duty quite a lot. And some uh, Medal of Honor. Ooh, so many people shooting at the same time. My lord. Okay, my gun is not an automatic. How do I switch that? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I had that problem you before. Die when you die, you have to, uh... Wait, I think it is automatic, but you switched it, I think. No, no yeah, but how do I switch Fire it mode. Uh, I guess you have to button bash. Trouble at this position. Hmm. Oh, shoot. I threw a grenade. That was not... Ah, to do. I'm in that building, too. <laughs> oh, it's fee. Fee. Press fee. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Mode. Nice. That's why I died before. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sure that's why. Whoa! Somebody I got hit with a grenade launcher or something. Okay, it's okay. I can save you. If I don't get killed. Thanks. Where am I getting shot? Oh, there. Still up there. Oh, there's one right here. An Whoa, effing hero yeah. just dropped from the sky. Okay, we have two flags in our position. Possession. Uh, we have to go to flag A. Let me see if I can Where is flag A? Know. Up the hill. Behind you again? Oh, I got hit from the other side of the hill. They are so good. It's more, there's so many. I'm playing at 4K, 100 <laughs> FPS, and I still can beat them. Okay, B, where's B? Where's B? C, B there. Alright, they're taking B back. I think right, team deathmatch was a lot easier than capture the flag. I still haven't really found out where the flags are. <laughs> Look at the icons. I'm approaching B. Okay, 
shot in the back. Did he pick me up? Yeah, if I finish with shooting him. Shit, yeah, then I'm dead already, I think. Yeah, I'm dead. Wait. I only have one frag? How is that possible? Recall is so hard to control. Or it's not that hard. hard. Of course, it makes me better, man. I'm not sitting in my usual gaming chair. If I'm sitting in my usual gaming chair, that's gonna be. Uh, people are gonna say I'm cheating. Got wiped out again. Let me see who will deploy next to you. Scare me. Yeah, I think we're not in a winning team for this one. So hard to spot. Anyone. He's trying to snipe me. Oh damn! I mean the snow s snowflakes and all and all this. This map is so bright. It's so distracting. Ouch! 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 Well, you're quite far away from me. Okay, let's uh, stay alive. Sounds like a plan. I think we're gonna see some enemies when we go to B. Yeah, <laughs> enemies. Shit! Sh yeah, enemies. I just saw him. Take B. There's one behind me. Oh, what a camper. Uh, this guy is just, life? he's just camping on B. On B? Yeah, he's just camping, laying there on the ground, doing nothing. It's quite he's busy at B. Then let's make it less busy. I don't even know where I'm getting shoot from. Shot from. Okay, I'm running down to B. There's somebody oh, on the side. Oh, I got shot from the other side. They're camping on the right side towards the bridge. Watch out, the right side at the bridge. There was the some. bridge? There. No, the other one. Behind you. I see. There's the bridge. Uh, quite a difficult game, uh, it seems. We have taken objective Baker. So, okay. <clears throat> this all right, I'm still playing on a solid 80 frames per second on 4K Ultra. Huh. But I'm not winning, despite of it. this one by a long shot that's sad we're just going for the comeback right yeah <laughs> that's definitely gonna work with our skills of course 
You know, I'm just happy if I can see somebody running with his back turned to. I can actually pick someone up, even though I'm not a medic. Oh. But what do you mean with picking him up? Like, like he was to revive him. If I press E, I can revive. Oh, but you are a medic. Am I? Yeah, no. you're a medic. Yeah. I thought I had a soul. Are you sure? Yeah. Where do you see that? Where the same. Uh, the sign. Like right next to your name on the left. Ah, okay. Getting busy in here. It's getting hot in here. Oh, I was just too late to pick you up. <laughs> I see somebody, but it's there was an enemy standing right next to me, and he missed everything. At first. <laughs> then there was the second one. I guess we're not the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Messer is saying that your mouse sensitivity is set high and mine is low. I think yours is not bad. Yeah, it's, it's a bit higher than mine. But I think almost everyone plays on a higher sensitivity than I do. Normally, if I'm playing FPS, I will set it to lower. But this game is like so chaotic, I would like to you know, I like switch it, left and right very swiftly. But yeah, my accuracy will go down, but... Nothing is worse than getting stag uh, stabbed in the back. So you just have to watch left and right all the freaking time. Got him. Finally. Aha. Uh -huh. Somebody else killed me. I got some kind of achievement. Hey, there's an enemy there. I didn't test if we can run and shoot and still uh, have an accurate. That's quite okay. Still uh, accuracy. <laughs> Who's shooting at me? Whoa, there's one in my back. Picking me up. Thank you, sir. Let me try something else. Where did you go? I died. I went to heaven. <laughs> did you? I'm gonna try. It. Uh, probably not. Uh, how can I s deploy overview? Yeah, let me try something else. TX3, thank you for joining. Hope to see you next week again. Peace out. Uh, I just got it. Oh, I think I like this gun better. Let me see if I can spawn next to you. Yep. Okay, right behind you. Get the Germans. Ah. That's a sign that I should go. I lost you again. Oh, there mm. you are. Come on. Road. Bring it out. I'm really feeling this new weapon. We have lost objective Charlie. Damn, right, back behind let's you. get objective Charlie back.
Charlie's behind us, where we just came from. Oh, shit. <laughs> Go full party mode. Got him. I still don't see anybody. Oh, there's an enemy right in front of me. I was just scratching my head, but I still got him. Up my house. <laughs> That's a nice house you have there, Mike. Oh, man. Can you pick me up? I I'm done. Oh, you're also down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is a this is a really big map. Next to you because you're in combat. Yeah, I think you can now. I am now. Out of combat. Let's hunt them down. Whoa, there were two of them. Wow, nice shot. Buddy, I picked up. Thanks, buddy. I need medic. I need medic. Whoa, don't swear, my friend. Language. Thank you. Got him. Poor guy got backstabbed by two guys. <laughs> I'm behind you again. Okay, where shall we go? Got your back. Uh, we are we are in possession of everything. That's nice, I guess. Oh, well, this part is so bright. Oh, one behind me. Got him. Let me help you. Or not to be. Yeah, it's a lot better when you have like uh, a binocular or scope. <sighs> oh, that hurt. Okay, I'm still alive. Okay, Can I'm ask me how? so disoriented. Where are you? Come on. Hamid is saying he wants a free copy of the game and he put it in caps lock, so I'm sure he's serious about this. Let's just hope he wins. Because we still have the giveaway run. Man, my chi is all distorted just by this map. Show you. If you haven't participated yet, go to msi.com slash tier slash insider. There you can enter the giveaway. I will also post it in chat. So you still have a chance to win. Make sure to sign up. Be quick. Because otherwise you might be too late. So Hamid, also make sure to enter there. This might be a chance for a free copy of Battlefield 5. Somebody help! Somebody help! Okay, I guess nobody's helping me. Where are you? Because they're envious of my 4K monitor. <laughs> Makes sense. I was trying to find you, but... Where are you? Where are you? Oh, enemy. Got him. I'm 
hidden. I need to zoom. Ah, there you are. Reload! Reload! Okay, now I'm directly behind you. We can actually still win this. We're not too far behind. Wait, when did it get so close? Because we're owning. Coming to pick you up. Help! Um, there you go. There you are again. Alright. Uh, now we better capture A. Let's see. Where's A? Oh, no. Okay, the score is the same now. So far away. I s told you where we're going for the comeback. I guess. And if, I'm, it. if I'm really being strategic, uh, strategic, I guess... Easy win for us. We would have someone uh, ideally camping at the camp, uh, bomb site and flag sites. <laughs> but uh, that's not how we roll, I guess. Going towards objective A. I'm you. camping at A. Okay, I'm with you. Captured A. Oh man. This is a tense match. No, we lost B. Okay. Must get to B fast. I think we're winning this. Must get to B fast. Freaking camp. Take it. We still have A, but now they have two. So we have to make sure to quickly. Oh no. Two points for oh both. Boy. No, we're at one. Oh boy. No. No. I think we just lost. Oh man. So close. Two. Oh, only two. We tried, guys. We tried. We failed. I don't even want to look at my score. So close. Look at those schmucks. So far. Look at those schmucks. <laughs> oh well, it was a good game, I guess, nonetheless. So, well, guys, that was uh, Battlefield 5 real life performance on 4K Ultra. Very impressive, I must say. So, let's take a look if. Hamid will win our last game code for today. Cheers to that, huh? Let me just get everything set again. Okay, Hamid, the big moment is here. I'm so frustrated, even my hair is messing up. Let's see up. if you won our last code. So, our next winner is... I already had some... I had the last name, so now it's your Saga turn again. Gupta. Congratulations, Sa Saga Gupta. You won our last game code I for mean, today. I mean, that was the right way to pronounce it, right? I think so. Anyways, congratulations. And uh, those of you who didn't win any... Better next luck next time. Exactly. Next time, there's always a next time, because next week we're going to have great new product at Computex. Computex that we will, we will have a nice you. preview of Computex. Yeah, Computex will be the end of this month in uh, Taiwan. I'm and of course MSI will be present and we'll already give you a sneak peek of what to expect for Computex. Exactly. I'm, pr I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun with uh, Eric. So, uh, and we hope you enjoy today's stream and that you, uh, that you have gained a lot of knowledge about 4K and uh, that the new 4K gaming monitor was up to your liking. And if not, hey, leave us some feedback. And uh, I hope we did. I hope we did okay in uh, Battlefield Five. We tried. We were so close, but yeah. too bad. Yeah, I think we lost the game. <laughs> <laughs> probably. But, uh, if we wouldn't be in the server, they probably would have won. Exactly. <laughs> but anyways, thank, thank you, you for watching, everyone. And see you next time, next week, same place, same time, and uh, see you then. Have a good day. Goodbye.